back and back and back. People are hungry. I, if I if I stood in the, in between were, people and McDonald's, <laughs> there were four cop cars lined up this way. And people were still pulling and talking. People would be. What happened? They missed. They were really hungry. Did they hit the building? He was feeling. Did they hit something or? Uh, they're on top of our menu board. Oh. Not the menu board. <laughs> well. What? He said they were feeling a little bit too good. Yeah, they had to cut the battery cables and stuff, so it ain't oh. going on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I'll, uh, goodness. Is this, how bad is this? Was it, it's not bad. Was it on fire? He said it was yeah, it was smoking. Oh. Yeah, dispatch said it was smoking pretty good, nice. so. Um. I'm not even sure we Yes. Generally, if something's crashed real bad, they won't put their Okay, well, I just didn't know if it was a. Catching stuff on fire in your lot. <laughs> well, it's just that it sits there forever and ever and ever and ever. I know. Ever. So we can do it. We don't have as much freedom as. I know. Yeah. And we'll wait for the insurance company for quite a while. Uh, okay, I think Get I'll. Uh, we'll have to pull it back. They've cut the battery cables because oh, we don't want to get it on fire, so. I'll drag it back and... I couldn't even get it to open up the trunk. Really? Wow. Huh. That's My a lot of stuff wadded up around that wheel. It's on their menu board. Are we going to destroy their menu board the rest of the way if we pull it straight back? Most likely. But that's okay. I think I it's already destroyed. this whole thing off. If y'all pull a, like get in line, I guess, or... Okay. Well, I'll tell you what I could do. I'll drive around. Okay. I'll just drive around the ground camp, you know, and block in too. You probably have room and fit here just where he is. If I turn around and just back in here, I think I'll be okay. Back right into it. Yeah, I think I can back in there to it. We can't hurt it any more than what it is. <laughs> I'll get out of your way first. <laughs> Maybe just it behind me. Okay. They might pay attention to yours better. Yeah, I'm just gonna drag it off there first. Just go hot dogging down through here. I'm putting it back up for you. Well, thank you. I mean, heavy, it? oh, it's heavy.
Well, the question of the day is, is the e-brake set? Maybe after we get it lifted up. Yeah. You're making people mad. I know. They just want their McDonald's, man. Is this yours? Hope not. Yeah, my, mine should be in my case. Nope. Oh, there. Probably. Lost a sweet AirPod. And ran over it. Thank you. Yes, please. <laughs> it's coming to you. I can't get that. I'll have to just cut it. Yeah, we'll have to just cut it. I wasn't sure on this one. I had to call and ask somebody because it was like most time if we're going to do something. You had we to have We take it to our lot. Yeah. I remember Jack used to you know, always take us taking stuff up. You never had to deal with Jack, did you? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> but, yeah, they just don't like spitting crash cars. Yeah. Yeah, that's their, that's their thing. But we don't care. We're just happy to help. I don't care where it goes. <laughs> happy to help. Yeah, it does smell burnt, that's for sure. Oh, oh yes, they are, for sure. Okay. He was getting on the spur when I talked to him about five minutes ago. Who's that? My, my supervisor. Oh, your supervisor? Yeah, he knows more than I do. Okay. I think we're pretty good. You okay over here? Yeah, I'm just gonna throw the rocks back up in here. Do you mean get a shovel? Let, let me shovel them back up there. Or are you just gonna take them to the edge? They'll have to redo all this stuff anyway. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Uh, you can leave, them there. leave them there. Are you just gonna leave that and shut down? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, guys, we are back here at the lot with the burglar. This is the uh, the hamburglar. We'll call him the hamburglar. If you guys are old enough to remember the hamburglar from McDonald's. This guy, that's what this guy was doing. Anyway, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit how bad it was. Um, so he hit the sign. I didn't know the signs were that well made at McDonald's. So just know that the menu board will mess your car up, man. I, I the, the frame is twisted, transmission's busted. Uh, looks like motor mount took a pretty good hit. Fender's destroyed, bumper. They clipped the uh, battery cables because it was about to catch on fire. They said it was smoking pretty good. So anyway, uh, stick around, stay tuned. We'll try to get that story for you if this fellow ever makes it out of, I'm going to guess jail. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I, I know, know that they took him because they said he was feeling way too good. But I don't know if he'll come out of uh, the hospital and go see somebody or if they'll just write it up as a simple property damage report since he was on private property when all this happened i'm not 
I don't know how all that works. But stick around, stay tuned. We'll get the story from him, I'm sure, because he's going to want his car back, or it looks like a fairly new car, so uh, at least the bank will probably want it back. So maybe we'll get a little bit, but anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Stick around, stay tuned. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to try to get through this real quick. We talked about doing a giveaway for our 50,000 uh, mark on all of you fantastic subscribers. If you guys have watched my video, you know that we've got this King Slim dash cam, and I just want to say my hats off to this this company, King Slim. This dash cam is is probably clearer footage than what my GoPro has. It's it's just great. So I thought I'd share that with you. Now coming through secondary lens of a GoPro, it might not be that impressive, but I promise you, if you've got this. Uh, stuck into your computer so if you've got any incidents that you need to record and it comes back to the uh, to the computer you're gonna see just what I see here and oh my goodness that it's just it's just super clear super clear and we've had some foggy nights to where we could look up at the dash cam and I could see more through the dash cam than I could see through my windshield of me physically looking through it so it's just really exciting to be able to, to uh, put this together it's worked very well for us they've uh, sent one out for us to try We've thoroughly tried it out, guys. It's 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 just an amazing, amazing little dash cam. So we've got one on purchase, and we're going to get that into the giveaway. So uh, look forward to that coming here soon. We're going to do that announcement somewhere around the fifty thousand mark. But that video will have instructions on how to enter for this giveaway. Uh, we've got another giveaway coming for a jump box too. But uh, check out this footage. We're going to roll. We're going to roll this so you can see. Um, just the little crazy things that you can catch on camera. I come into the turn lane. I thought I was pretty good. And uh, lo and behold, no. We're going to cut you off right here at the light. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a good thing to have, guys. So we, we've got these cameras rolling all the time. And um, it's, uh, it's just a good, good safety tool to have just in case you need proof of any of these incidents here. Still got the Christmas lights coming. Uh, that's a that's a nighttime video. I'll see if I can scroll and get you guys some daytime footage. But just an amazing, amazing little camera. So hang tight. Let me get you a, a daytime clip. And as promised, here's a daytime clip. Uh, we've got the sun in the background facing us here. And I have a really dirty windshield. I promise I've not washed it because we've had just multiple snow recoveries and it's been raining. We've got the salt splattered up on the windshield, but um, you know, it gives you everything. Uh, the speed that you're traveling, date, time. Uh, this is the King Slim D4 model. You can see over here in the corner. That's the model. But uh, we're headed back from from a call over in Gatlinburg right now. But that's what it looks like for their daytime footage. So yeah, like I said, stick around, guys. You don't want to miss out on this giveaway. We're going to get how to enter coming up soon. Is, is there any way I can get the van key off? You, Ma'am, you can have, yeah, everything but the car key. I'll, I'll, that's all I'll need to be able to open up the, um, to move it around just in case. So you, yeah, all I need is the, is the fob to the car. Okay, okay. And, uh, Jesus. what was he doing? They said he was sitting there at McDonald's. And I didn't even know about it until 8.30. So he sat in jail all night and didn't even. He's still in jail. Oh, oh my goodness. And they got him set for a DUI. Uh huh. Because he had marijuana in the car, I guess. Okay. Well, I've been talking with attorneys. How do you charge somebody with a DUI when they're sitting in a parking lot, not it's moving? Private property, yeah. And then I said, um, the attorney said, well, did they check at the hospital if he had it in the system? Uh huh. The lady at the hospital said, no. We can't have no way of knowing that. We yeah. draw blood and send it off, but the cops wouldn't know that. Yeah. How do so you they, charge him with the DUI then? So, that doesn't make sense. I gotta get an attorney. Yeah, you'll have to figure out something there. But yeah, I mean it was I mean it was private property, oh, so but the point of what happened is he was sitting there and then they said all of a sudden on their cameras at McDonald's mm -hmm. he gunned it and just hit the uh sign and was over on it. He was, yeah. He had a See, you were there? I, I pulled it off the sign. Yeah, I told Did it you. Did you see him? No, they, he was gone by the time we got there. They uh, said he had a seizure. He was unresponsive. And by the time they got to him, he was foaming at the mouth. Okay. So they think when he had the seizure, like... He, he hit the gas instead of... He hit the gas, so... Uh, yeah, boy, yeah, it was it was on top of the 
it was on top of the sign. And I was so mad. He he works at and he had left to go get him and the girl that was working food Some at food. McDonald's. Yeah. And um. And just uh, had a. Had and something. I said, I, the only way I knew about it, I drove by to take Red Box movies back to the grocery store. Yeah. I said, where's the car's not there? Oh no. So I drove back home, got my phone, came back, and I asked. Yeah, I said. You don't know? Wow. Know what? She said he's been in a wreck and at the hospital. And she didn't call and tell two you? Two hours. Two and a half hours. I said, well, hell, the cop's been, the wrecker's been, and he's at the hospital. Yeah, and you know nothing about I any said, of that stuff. if he was stuff. dead, I wouldn't even know it. That's crazy. Well, it sounds like maybe some medical issue versus he anything. He had a stroke and a heart attack a year ago. Mm. And we're thinking the seizures have started a year later from the stroke. From the, yeah. Well, that makes sense. But yeah. he knew better if he was going to be doing that to not have it in the car. Well, I mean, you know, it's uh, medical stuff is medical stuff. You know what I mean? I, I hate that. But yeah, though, it's pretty hard hitter on that. Well, you can see where the sign kind of went in and it took out that frame rail. And that's where it got the transmission and all that stuff down there. So was it you i spoke with or yeah you you talked to me earlier today about did you say it caught on fire yes ma'am they said they they pulled the battery because they said it was on fire the battery was on fire the car was on fire is what they said they had the fire department there i guess to put the uh i, I don't know i mean it was it you can see you can see where it went in and it ripped and it ripped all of the there's all of the frame that's kind of twisted up there at the bottom and it got the radiator, the transmission. Can't really uh, see that good, I know it's kind of tough to see. To send them the insurance. Yeah, they usually they'll send an adjuster out and uh, probably. I still wanted to see it too when he gets out. So yeah. I said, I'll go check. Well, it and looks like they a... gave me my son's phone, but they didn't give me his phone. Um, the only thing that I seen laying on the ground was one AirPod. And it looked like it'd been stepped on or run over. I pitched it back. That's the only thing I seen out of the car. So hopefully, hopefully the police didn't take his. Uh... Well, he said, "Honey, my phone's in the car somewhere." I said, "Well, let me find the okay. car." Yeah. And then um, he said, "My wallet was in the car." Yeah. Now the officers gave me his wallet at the hospital. They wouldn't let me back. Okay. Uh, but he said, "Honey, our rent money's in there." And I said, "Okay. Well, mm -hmm. how much is it?" There was two hundred dollars in there. He said, "Check my wallet when you get off the phone with me. The money's gone." Out of his wallet that the police gave you? The money's gone. So <sighs> I don't know where the money happened in between the Here and there and and the police. You don't think he stuck it in the car? Let's well, let's see if we can get in the car. I have to get the battery for you. That's why. Well, it's here and we lock everything and Because I'm not fixing to start accusing the cops or nothing if I don't know. Yeah. When I put this on, if you can unlock it and then I'll take it back out. I don't want it to catch on fire. Oh God, please don't. Okay. Okay. All right. The battery's still pulled, so but it should be unlocked and uh, it's all you, dear. I hope that everything is it's safe. Yeah, yeah, you're good as long as that battery's out of there. It's I pitched some of the stuff back in the back where it ripped off most of his bumper stuff so that stuff is back there but hopefully the stuff that you need will be there's that air pod i pitched it in the sink i don't know where the case or any of that stuff went to but uh right. yeah you guys are married so it's uh whatever's in there is yours <laughs> 50 minutes can you get this out of here in 50 minutes <laughs> my goodness hello so we are up here at Zurich and Echo Place on Ski Mountain. And uh, these folks called and said they were in a ditch with a Jeep. And uh, Jeff expressed concern and said they backed up and it just went over. And it most certainly did. Yeah, uh, and I don't quite know where I want to leave. I don't know which way. I guess this was the front over here. I kind of liked where you were. But we're good on fuel and death. Yes. Okay. I'll block the road. Hi, guys. I don't think you're going to get it that way. It's going to be at an angle that way. It's right where that drain pipe is. Oh, it is in that pipe, isn't it? Right by it. 
Yeah. I, I went up the hill, I was missing a little, I, I missed the road I thought I did, and I backed up a little bit, and as soon as that tire got, I didn't even, I didn't see it. This, as soon as yeah. that tire got there, when it just went like it just straight went, over, you yeah. see where that front tire just whoop. Yeah, it just popped it right over, didn't it? Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, we'll uh, see if we can pull it forward just a little bit and uh, get it over and forward, move it a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, okay, you know, yeah. Know Sounds good. Yeah, that back tire's in the drain, so I'll probably come back over here where I was. Okay. Turkey?
Get ready on that. Keep going, Jeff. All right, break, break, start. Excellent. All right, looks like it hit the sign here. They said their airbags did not deploy, so that's good. Got some damage here. You got some dents over here. Some dents and some mud. But, uh, over here, yeah. Yeah, this right here, too. Yeah. Yeah. I would just not open your back door. Probably. <laughs> I can't believe that mirror didn't fold in and break your glass. I probably wouldn't open the hood or the back door until yeah. you get to get home anyway. <laughs> Good job. So were you were you in this travel dog right here? Yeah, I know. they needed to turn here but they didn't they needed to go straight and when he backed up he said his back tire just slid off down here into this very deep culvert you see there's a drain pipe right there and i don't know it's probably four or five feet deep down there and when that went in of course the whole thing just fell on the side because it has some damage uh from the bank and then from this sign he hit the sign too so but they're okay okay guys um headed back down zurich 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 I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I'm over here someplace in Gatlinburg. Ski and it's now. really steep. You probably don't want to look at me. You'd rather look at that. Look at that. It's pretty nice out, guys. 60 degrees. They got themselves into a little bit of trouble there with the Jeep. Uh, come back and down that, that little road there. Got a little too close to the really deep culvert. That back, Once that back tire left and went into that culvert, it was game over for that Jeep. It went, it went to sleep. <laughs> but we was able to just pull it. For, once I got it drug back down, uh, so it wasn't on its side. Uh, we were able just to pull forward and and uh, it pretty much came back out the way it went in, which is always nice. That's generally what we try to do. Had a little bit of damage there on the side. Said he was gonna uh, get it fixed, put it back together and trade it off for a new one. That's what he told me. <laughs> it's a Jeep, it'll go forever. It will. But we're headed back down, guys. Thought I'd uh, share that with you but it's been a beautiful day awesome new year hope everybody had a good time hope everybody's safe oh. you're not safe you just oh, fell in YouTube. my floorboard i'm so sorry i don't know what happened there but yeah we're headed back down ski mountain pizza i might have to make a pit stop headed for a lockout see you on the next one Just a little bit. Hold up. We have about 90% of the tire on this side. All right, it's up.
goodness gracious. Guys, look. Bam. Bam. I don't know if my front end will stay on the ground. It looks like it doesn't. I don't know if this will clear once it swings over. Can you do me a favor and put it low, 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 low? Yeah. Okay. Put it low, 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 low. Because I'm nervous. Jeff, no, 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 put it down, put it back. Jeff, hey, <laughs> your front, that your front wheel yes, is completely off the ground. Yes, I realized that they were doing that when you were hooking it up, so. But I'm gonna have to see if I can suck it in closer to me, but I don't know how far I can suck it in close to me until I get straight. Okay. So, yes. Okay. <laughs> he just likes to make me nervous, I think. Hold on, it's all wheel drive. drive all wheel drive I think so I've never seen so this tire was skidding <laughs> yeah, sure. I learn something a little new every day um oh, this will be a mess huh mm-hmm I don't know. Stick around, stay tuned. We might not get this one. Okay, guys. Uh, we uh, did a little bit of a flip flop. It had too much weight on my front end. I was popping wheelies, so we got it out in the middle of the road, uh, turned it around so I could get a hold of the front and put dollies on the back. And it is heavy and it's big. But this is the only thing that I could do. I couldn't get it initially from the parking lot because of that pole. I, I couldn't have made the swing. So uh, stick around, stay tuned. Okay, guys. Here we are at the lot. Kristen says, Have you ever seen a pelican eat a giraffe? It's just really big, guys light duty doing medium duty things i guess anyway it made it it's not horrible once i got it turned around i got all the weight off my front end and of course my dollies don't like it they're screaming but uh luckily our gatlinburg lot is not far away and we made it happen so stick around stay tuned they're going to be upset hey i guess somebody towed our van over here in gatlinburg it's a camper van it's, our, it's what we're living in right now Yes, sir. You were parked at the, in the employee parking lot? I'm not sure, but it's uh, what do we need to do to get our home? I'm my three kids and dog are all sitting here with my wife. Gotcha. Um, Got to be the registered owner for the release. Um, okay, well, we got the registered owner for the release. We got, I mean, once again, this is our home. Um, there's also $20,000 inside that van, cash. Um, there's a lot of a lot of stuff to this, but um, we just need to know what to do. Where uh, immediately, what we need to do to get our van back. Okay. 
Um, yeah, like I said, as long as you're the registered owner, we can release it to you. Um, it, it's at our 221 Newman Road impound lot, parked in a bad spot, man. Uh, you, <laughs> okay, so we, we, we just need to get to our van and pay for whatever needs to be paid. Okay. Uh, the, the, the total is... They're charging us... Dollars. Well, where where do we go? Where I mean, we can't go anywhere. We're stranded here, so we need to get our vehicle. Okay. Um, yeah, two twenty one Newman Road, uh, Gatlinburg. Was that address again? I mean, how, how are we supposed to get there? You try to catch a cab or an Uber or a Lyft or something. I, I'm not I'm not real sure, sir. Okay, write this number down real quick. Okay. What is it now? Uh, two twenty one. Two twenty one. And it's Newman Road. N -E Newman Road. N E W M A N. Okay, so that's where our vehicle is, and that's where we'll be able to pick up our vehicle immediately. Uh, as soon as we pay y'all whatever it is you want. Um, the, the immediately part is the kind of hard part. I mean, it's <laughs> it's it's definitely after hours. I can get somebody over to the gate to meet you, but it's going to be about an hour before I can get somebody. Okay, well, my whole family, my whole family, stranded is this kind of. I mean, if you can imagine the stress of our entire, you know, what, where we live, you know, being gone. Um, we just need to um, be able to once again pay whatever it is that needs to be paid and um, get our vehicle. So yeah. I mean, if we're, if we're gonna if we're gonna obviously yeah. have somebody have to pay somebody to get us there then we need to make sure that you know we can get it yeah no i understand i completely understand I, like i said they just they just called us for the removal man you were uh in a in a no parking zone i mm -hmm. um but yeah um I, I can get somebody back over there but like i said it's going to be about an hour before i can get somebody to the lot to, to which lot um call the stores it was a um Oh yeah, my wife's phone's also. Um, you're saying it's an hour before you can get somebody to that lot. Yeah, it's it's after hours. I don't keep anybody at the impound lot. I understand your situation and I'm willing to help you, but it's going to be about an hour before I can get somebody back over there to let you in to get it. Okay, so you can get somebody there by eight o'clock. Um, because it's about seven now, so we just need to make sure we're there by eight o'clock, right? About eight o'clock. Yes, correct. Okay, we'll be there um, by eight o'clock. And what's what's the you got the address again? Yeah. Okay, uh, we got it. Uh, we'll be there uh, a little bit before eight o'clock. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, he's not happy. Just like I figured he wouldn't be happy, and I wouldn't be happy. Um, you know, and I understand he's living in it, and he's got dogs and kids, and just man, if I was going to travel in something like that, I would be. I would be a nervous wreck on where I parked that thing. Now, it's a given, guys. We see them parked at, you know, Walmart, um, sleeping overnight and things like that. And some Walmarts allow it. Some Walmarts don't. And, it, and it's the same with parking lots. You know, it's if you were going to do something like that, at least pay to park. I don't, I just, I cannot wrap my mind around something like that. A, an extremely large vehicle in a parking lot that has all of those signs and then still still pull in there so i don't know guys stick around stay tuned we're going to get uh, this vehicle dropped off get it back and get back over to the lot see if we can get him his vehicle back which you know like i said i understand the situation I don't, i'm not trying to make anybody homeless this afternoon and uh i'm going to try my very best so hang tight registered owner yeah that's well, you yeah me and her Okay. Um, she's got the, I guess what, the tag receipts in the, con in the console or the glove box, I guess that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah as long as, long as it, I, I just have to make sure I'm giving it back to the rightful person. Yeah, yeah, uh, can, um, let's go get the tag receipt out. I think it's get a tag receipt out of it real quick. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You got it, thank uh, you sir, appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> y'all be good to me. This was, I heard a horrible number. I, that's you gonna run the, everything. You see the size of that thing? Yeah, I know. That but, was the. It's just that thing's humongous. You parked it right between the poles and right between the sign. Can y'all not help me out some? This is horrible. I mean, this is like run our whole trip. Um, we we hooked and then we had to get it wiggled out of there and then once we got it to the roadway, then we had to flip it around and rehook and then on top of that, it's all wheel drive and it's an RV. Man, it's. I'm sorry, man. That's just that is that is the best. You did. Why didn't you get a paid lot, brother? That would have been well, that, way no, easier. Well, man, it was, it, my kids talking me into crap. Um, 
<laughs> it's a nightmare. Um, what did you quote me? Y'all can't help me out any on that. I'm sorry, man. That's that is just, so high. That's gonna. I mean, that ruins everything. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. It's a, a twenty dollar parking paid lot would have been way easier. Oh, I know. I promise, and I would have much rather not have towed that thing. I mean, it was a three hour ordeal for us to even get it secured and here and over. Well, here's this. It's um. Good lord, it's a debit card. I I can't do. I can meet you up here at the ATM. That's about the best I can do with that. What about PayPal? Um, I can't do PayPal. Cash either. app? Y'all don't do. I, I, yeah, I can't. And, I, and I'm going to give you the explanation. You're upset because it got towed, and you. Most of our people just dispute charges. So that's the reason for the for the cash on that. I'm not going to dispute. Well, I can't dispute a card on on a uh, debit anyway that I know of. Every time you run a debit. Um, yeah, they're all account. no, they're all they're all disputable. I promise. Uh, I, we've had it time and time again, and, and we just uh, we just had to change policy on that stuff. So uh, that was that was the reasoning for that. Yeah, that's what you got. I, I like I said. That's why I usually try because yeah. it, you know eight to five Monday through Friday things are open and things are working, and you know, we're standing here on New Year's. Yeah, I know. It's uh, she's got a check. Of course, you know what I mean. You have to, can y'all run a check like the? Can't. I can't. Yeah. Y'all can't do PayPal or Cash App or something. I can't. I'm sorry. I don't. We don't keep any of those. Well, I don't know how. Um, is there a Wells Fargo around here? ATM? Uh, there's a few ATMs. There's a bank right here on the corner. Hmm. Let me go ask my wife. Okay. Your motion for me to back up. No, I just didn't like that. That he went over there and I don't have anything, and they're going in their house. Mm -hmm. So okay. I just wanted you to be paying attention. Paying attention and ready. Is that one? Yes. And I don't know, even leaving and going up there. It's mm -hmm. like if he can't get it, then then he's already up there and he's in his paid cash. That one and that one, brother. I hope you can get that thing. Probably it's torn up on it, is it? No, sir. We put it straight up on dollies, and obviously the involuntary, so we can't get in it, and we got to put it up on on tow dollies and the auto loader, and and uh, just uh, we just touch tires. So yeah, I guess um, probably the easiest thing to do would be to to pull the rest of the way forward, and then I've got there's a little clearing off to the right. Maybe you can get turned around. That's yeah, probably going to be the easiest I, bet I, for I it. Make it. I got a rear view camera. I should be able to do it. Okay. Thank you, man. Get the van turned around. He wasn't happy with the price, but uh, most of our illegal parkers are not happy with prices. And this thing was um, this thing was huge. You know, we had trouble getting it from out of the parking lot, and then we had to flip flop it around to the other side and and uh, do some crazy things to make that happen. And um, you know, it's oversized. It's huge. Not sure why he chose to park where he did. Um, he said that the kids kids coaxed him into parking where he did and. Ultimately, that's a bad, a bad decision. But uh, he's on his way out, so.